right, it's time now for our Opus Bank 12 best plays of the week. And let's stay on the pitch. Oregon State, Arizona State on Thursday. 38th minute, this game was scoreless until Mackenzie Weinert would do that from distance. Pretty stuff. The lefty coming back where she came from. Ninth goal of the season for Weinert. We'll have more from that game later on. A lot from this game. Starting with number 11, C.J. Verdell, 89 yards. That was one of his 23 carries on the afternoon. As we already know, 257 total rush yards for C.J. on the afternoon. Number 10, Arizona and Stanford yesterday on the farm. Khalil Tate drew Dixon. Some fancy footwork there, kind of reminding us a little bit of the Costello to J.J. Arthago Whiteside connection on the corner route last year. All right, more from that one coming up. Back to the pitch in Tempe. How about the keeper for Oregon State? Bridget Skiba having a season. Beavers won that one three to one. Back to Austin we go. Justin Herbert on the two point conversion. Johnny Johnson the third. And as we all know, these two points were massive because Oregon beat the Cougs 37 to 35. Number seven, let's head to the Rose Bowl. ASU UCLA on Saturday. Third quarter, Arizona State trying to mount a comeback, and this was one way to do it. Jaden Daniels, Frank Darby going up and getting it. Six catches, 110 yards, two touchdowns for Darby, but as we all know, it wasn't enough. Heck of a match Thursday in Tucson, Arizona, Oregon. Arizona was already up 3-2, and Ileana Hawking did that. A one-timer. The Wildcats would win it 5-2. Back to the farm, KJ Costello this time, finding Simi Fajoko. 14 yards going up and over his defender. Three catches, 97 yards, two touchdowns for Simi yesterday. And we'll have more from this game coming up because it was just kind of a highlight reel game yesterday down on the farm. First though, more from Pasadena, Dorian Thompson Robinson. Speaking of highlight catches, Chase Coda. This kid was the number two recruit in the state of Oregon a couple of years ago, and that is an example as to why. Getting the foot down, helping the Bruins to that 42-32 victory. All right, let's head to the hard court. USC Cal Friday. The senior libero, Reagan Legrand for USC. We've, we've got to see this again. Did she dig that ball with her knee? She dug it with her knee. And it was that kind of night as USC hands the Bears just their second loss of the season. Trojans with a 3-1 win. All right, impressive stuff there. Number two, let's head back to the farm. As I said, this was just a highlight game yesterday. This time, Costello finding Bryson Tremaine back in the end zone. The one-handed catch, the 14-yard tug. That was his only catch of the day, and why not? After a catch like that, kind of a mic drop, right? And we're staying at Stanford for our top play this week because if you like that one-handed catch, I've got a feeling you're going to like this one-handed catch, courtesy of the other team, Khalil Tate, Jamari Joyner. Oh, man, that was pretty. I know Stanford pulled out the victory, but when it comes to one-handed catches, I mean, that's just filthy. Jamari, eight yards, getting the ball, putting that right foot down. Stanford, though, wins it 41-31, to 31, but Arizona looked darn good in defeat.